We are the only rod puppet opera in the world. There are other puppet troops that perform scenes from operas with different types of puppets, but we're the only permanently functioning rod puppet opera in the world. Bill Foster created Opera in Focus. Um, he, he actually started working at the old Kungsholm in 1943 when he, was, when he was a young kid. My brother and I, we were always kind of strange children growing up, so we had, we had an interest in puppetry. We collected puppets. Nothing sophisticated with the type of puppets we use here, but we were interested in the art form and we would, we used to make short films. So they were looking for new puppeteers and um, I, I called Bill Foster on the phone and, and uh, was lucky enough to get an opportunity and I've been here ever since. 2012 will be the 19th year of permanent functioning of the puppet opera here in, in Rolling Meadows. When you first start off, it's very overwhelming and you look at these puppets and they seem so complicated. It's, more so than other styles of puppetry, this this type of puppet requires a lot of practice to get used to and all the various different gears and pulleys and strings and levers on them. It can be kind of scary at first, but the more you work with them, kind of like anything in life, you start to become familiar with it and get more and more increasingly comfortable with it. It's an incredible feeling. Um, the actual experience of performing on stage, it's kind of... Um, it's almost like a weird out-of-body experience and that that's kind of a, the, the fun part of the job is just being able to kind of leave your body and become somebody else or some some other you know an animal or whatever puppet you have in any given scene for a little for a brief period of time it's it's an awesome feeling to me um they're kind of like family members or even even when they sustain like little injuries on the stage from time to time which happens to me it's almost like i take that like it was a, a family member of mine that got injured once the lights come on and the curtains open uh people are kind of mesmerized by what they see what did he do he fought me goliath who laid down and died and actually as performers um i think we kind of we kind of feed off of the audience reaction so if we're if we're doing a scene and the audience is out there and they're you know applauding and you can hear them you know ooing and eyeing, you can tell that the audience is really getting into it and that makes us get even more into it too as performers. So typically when when people come and see our shows, then we've we've won a fan. You know we've we've as far as I can remember, we've never had a single person say that they did, that they weren't you know amazed by what we do. We've had wardrobe malfunctions. I remember there was one performance, we were doing Hansel and Gretel, and Bill was operating um, the Gertrude puppet, which is Hansel and Gretel's mother. And he walked around to the house, and he didn't realize that her skirt had gotten caught on the table, and he kept walking her, and then her skirt came off. So we had a field trip of kids out there, and now we have a, a female puppet that's naked from the waist down. But um, it's live theater, so you know things like that are bound to happen from time to time, and when they do, you just gotta roll with it and uh, the show must go on, so we just keep keep going. <laughs>